help your children enjoy their handwriting practice with this series that's been around for 25 years, written by Marie Hablitzel and illustrated by her daughter, Kim Stitzer. This program was written and published in 1994 and takes a different look at handwriting and the approach is a little bit different. The idea is that kids use a lot of the same skills when they draw as they do when they do their handwriting, some of the same strokes. So why not have some fun, draw some pictures while you're practicing your handwriting. You're getting that daily practice which every child needs. This series offers eight non-consumable textbooks. Um, each one has three different topics. Each topic has seven lessons and they are intended for the K through three crowd. Now, maybe you don't wanna start with book one. Every book has different topics, so maybe you wanna start with a different one. That's okay, they're all for the same age group. Instructions on how to teach a lesson is offered in the front of every book and every lesson is two page format. So the first thing that a parent will do is introduce the topic. Lesson one in book one is a hen. The category is farm animals. Now the hen, maybe you visited a farm, maybe you went to a zoo and your child saw a hen. Talk about that. Talk about what a hen might be if you want to read a book. And if you're not quite sure where to start, the page that follows each section, so at the end of the farm animal section, there is a page of book suggestions. So maybe you could pick one of those books and read it to your child. That might help them understand or give you some topics to talk about where your hen is concerned. So that's the first step. Second step is let your child start the drawing. Now these are non-consumable books. You want them to have the workbook, which is blank page at the top, formatted line pages at the bottom, so they can do all their drawing at the top of the page in the workbook, do their writing at the bottom of the page. Maybe you don't wanna spend the money to buy the workbook. Maybe you just wanna buy blank top paper. Maybe you just want a, a story journal. Same thing, the idea is a space to draw, a space to write. So first have your child use the step-by-step -step instructions as they draw, in this case, a hen. Later on, they'll draw something else. But th today they get to draw a hen. After the child draws the hen, they get to be creative and they get to draw in their background. Now this is just an example that they give in the book. Your child's doesn't have to look exactly like this. Maybe your child saw a hen on a farm and they want it to look like the farm that they saw. Maybe the child saw a hen at the zoo and they want it to look like the zoo. So the creativity comes in when they draw their background. The third thing that they'll do in a lesson is do the copy work. Now this copy work, you'll notice no arrows for instruction, no additional writing instruction. This is basically copy work. And you may be looking at this saying, this is too much, my child can't do it. So pick maybe one or two sentences. They don't have to do the whole thing. If they're capable and you want them to have the additional practice, sure. Have them do all of it, all four lines. Four lines is the most you'll ever find in any of these lessons. If you maybe don't like the, the wording of a, a script that's in the book, let them practice just the letters. Maybe you want them to just practice some of the words. Maybe you want to come up with your own, but give them writing practice that corresponds. It makes more sense to the child if they're writing something that has to do with the picture that they're drawing. After they do their drawing, last step, and this is a lot of fun, they get to color their picture. This is where they get to pick their colors, they get to make it their own. So now they have a picture with a story that they did start to finish, drawing, writing, everything. So make handwriting fun with a series like Draw Right Now. This gives them the opportunity to practice fine motor skills, practice their writing strokes, but shh, don't tell them they're practicing their handwriting. Thank you.